Hey guys, it's Kim with Motorhome Mamas. We are one day away from leaving on our epic road trip cross country to Michigan. It is about nine o'clock in the morning here in the Sonoran Desert, Tucson, Arizona, and it is almost 90 degrees. So uh, to say that we're ready to leave is an understatement. First thing I wanted to do is talk to you guys about what I did, just a little bit. I didn't do a very good job of, of documenting the transformation of the RV, but I wanted to just tell you about a few of the products that I used. So this tool right here is absolutely the number one best tool that I found. It is a Stanley scraper. It is dirty and gross and old, and I don't care because it worked beautifully for taking all those labels off. So I will show you the picture of the RV, the before picture of the RV, and uh, you'll see that it's covered in all of those labels, all of those, um, those swooshes that every typical motorhome has. I mean, they all have it. it. It's like they haven't come up with anything more interesting to put on an RV, so let's just put more swooshes. Well, I don't want any swooshes on my RV, so like I said, I used this tool. It took me about four days. I just, I seriously just spent days just scraping, scraping, scraping. It, it was tedious, but it worked. So when I was done with all the scraping, I, it, it left this really bad glue residue pretty much on everything. And I knew that I wasn't going to be able to paint over that. You would be able to see it. It was going to be bad. So we tried a couple different things. I tried like a, a goo gone. Um, that really did nothing. But then my dad gave me this. And I'll tell ya, that paint thinner with a rag worked beautifully. So I just, I used a ton of paint thinner. I put gloves on and I went around and I, I wiped on, the, on all the glue that was left over. I let it sit for a couple of minutes, then I would come back with that scraper again and the glue would just kind of like ooze off of it, but that worked. So the last thing I did was I came through with this handy little sander and I'm pretty sure my husband has about seven of these in the garage for some reason. Uh, it's got this cool Velcro uh, sandpaper that's really easy to put on and I think this was about 120 grit. And I came through and I just sanded where the, lightly sanded where all of the, uh, all the decals were. And it further took off that glue residue that was left over and it kind of, because you know when decals are on an RV for 20 plus years or 19 years, whatever, they, they leave a mark. So, so this really helped. So I kind of went through and just did the whole side with the belts, with the sander here. So at this point, I'm at about day five or six. It took forever to get all those decals off. I had a beautiful white RV. It was gorgeous. And people would come by and say, why are you going to paint it? You know, but you could still even see it needed to be painted. So I went online because of course we were in quarantine and to Lowe's and I uh, I picked out a color of spray paint the first one that I bought was this uh, rust-oleum and it was in Lagoon the color was similar to well my hair and I just did the very top and I did actually um, mask it off up there first and then I just sprayed. It was very simple. It went really fast. The Rust-Oleum paint, spray paint was so easy to use. So once we were done with the spray paint on the top and the bottom, I ordered a can of Rust-Oleum. And let me tell you, there's a ton of colors, but in the uh, regular paint, oil-based paint, there's not a huge variety of colors. And I don't think you can have them tinted the same way that you have just regular latex paint tinted. Fortunately, they had this great color called almond this paint before, and I'm totally sold. I absolutely love it. I will use it for so many projects going forward. It covers beautifully. 
it goes on so smooth. Yes, you throw your, your brushes away when you're done, but who cares? I don't like cleaning brushes anyways. So I don't have any of the rollers because I used them all, but it's something like this. It's a foam roller that you put on a little roller like this and we rolled the whole thing. It went on beautifully. What we did then was I bought this stencil and I'll give you guys a link on Amazon. You can check it out. So here is the stencil and you can see it's got the paint all over it. It does not come with this little box part. It just comes uh, like a flimsy piece of, of, I mean, it's just a stencil on a, on a uh, piece of plastic, which is all I needed it for. But we were having a lot of trouble with overspray. And so we went through a couple of different ideas until dad found this great box. So then we took the stencil and you kind of held it up to the RV like this. Uh, it needed to be flushed to the RV. It took two to three of us, to four of us, I think, to make sure that it was flushed to the RV. And my husband decided uh, that he was going to do all the painting of the cab. Uh, he wanted to use this cool paint sprayer anyways uh, that dad had. So a cheap sprayer, handheld, I think you get it at $100 at Home Depot. We masked everything perfectly you know i think that's the key to to all of this is masking well and uh and then when he we finally got it all masked which took the longest it was about i want to say about 20 minutes and he had the whole i mean he wore all the the masks and we have the the um the proper protection and uh it, with like i said like 20 minutes later the cab was done and last but not least, I'm here in my home office, and as you can see, I'm in front of my Cricut. And this is how I did all of the decals. Uh, at first, I was really unsure uh, how I would make them so big because anybody who has a Cricut knows that you've got these 12 by 12 or 12 by 24 sheets. Is all, all you know? I just kind of assumed that was all the size I could do. But then I talked to a good friend, thank you Annie, and she told me to look up a few things and I, uh, I was able to get those decals just as big as you want them. I mean, you could make them as long as you could, it, the possibilities are endless, so. my tour of the outside of the RV if you guys have any questions uh, I'm new to this whole YouTube thing so I guess maybe you just make a comment down below I'm not entirely sure um, we also have a couple other things set up I'm gonna try and put some links down there for you guys uh, for maybe the uh, the mandala the stencil uh, you know, there's going to be eight of us in this motorhome right here. Uh, we're going to need lots of alcohol. So we've set up a donation page if you feel compelled. Down below, I, I don't know, like I said, I'm new to this. So uh, like and subscribe. Is that a thing? Yeah, I think that's a thing. So go ahead and like, subscribe, share with your friends. Uh, my husband just saw and heard on NPR this morning that they are recommending uh, people take cross-country trips this summer, see America, support local business. So that is exactly what we're doing. I'm super excited. I hope you guys follow us along. Uh, bye.